I don't need to tell you how charged the Supreme Court has been. Right? No, I you don't got, actually right? think you do. <laughs> right, you got 3,000 hangers mailed to your office, you've gotten threats, and that was before Christine Ford entered the picture. Correct. But this has gone from a question of reproductive freedoms to a much larger debate over gender and power. Any vote for a Supreme Court justice matters greatly. It's a lifetime appointment. I always take it seriously. Well, but what about your own internal deliberations on a question like this, as a woman? I'm a senator. But you're um, also a woman. I am, but it is a very critical moment, but I've had a lot of critical <laughs> moments in my career. I had the Clinton impeachment. Much as I was furious at President Clinton's behavior, I didn't think that it met the constitutional standard, and I voted to acquit him. That was a pivotal moment. I let the fight with Joe Lieberman to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. That was a pivotal moment. With all due respect, though, it could be that you'll be the vote who decides whether to put that guy on the Supreme Court or not, when you also know that he might be the person that repeals Roe v. Wade. Well, first of all, I do not believe he's going to repeal Roe v. Wade. Senator McConnell seems to be suggesting he has the votes. So if he has the votes, he must have your vote. Are you, I, still, are you still undecided? I am. How could I decide before hearing the testimony of Professor Ford? So is Christine Ford the only thing that leaves you undecided on him? I'm close. I'm very close. But I'm not all the way there yet. And Professor Ford deserves to be heard.